Well, hi, and welcome to my shop. And we're gonna continue working with this little Spartan radio with the antenna that I'm sure is not connected uh, correctly. I tried to hunt around for a schematic. Um, I did not succeed uh, because I really don't know what the uh, model number is for this radio. As you can see, the back of it is all worn away. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what the, I couldn't find it. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the uh, antenna from the radio just by taking a couple screws out of here and see what I can see. solder a wire. Where is the wire that should be soldered to that? Here is the wire. This one here. And where does the green wire go? The green wire, I think, well, it either goes to this terminal or to this terminal. even be this one for crying out loud it could be this one it could be this one and the capacitor would be in series with the coils and the coils don't make sense though when it's wired that way you can see I still don't know what to do with it here but I'm quite certain that this wire should be soldered down here it almost looks like the same kind of wire so that's what I'm gonna do We can experiment a little bit with the other wire and try to find the best best way to connect it, and that might that might help. If I can't reason it out, reason it out. just come apart. Not so. So I'm still quite curious about what's going on with this coil. Hey, while I have it out, now I've got it completely disconnected. Can't really look it over. This is this is curious to me right here, where you can see uh, these these two wires are connected together into this terminal. And the capacitor is then connected onwards, and this wire is the external antenna. The other end of the coils has to be this wire, and this wire here, which was so hard to see when. Uh, So this one comes up to the center terminal. The center terminal is going nowhere. So this connection is doing nothing. So maybe that's where the green wire should go. Onto here. That would connect it onto the coil. I just can't tell if it, uh, you know, There's two coils here, but it sure looks like one. I can't really tell the difference. Not for sure. Hmm. So that's my thinking then. The green wire goes in the center. 
and this wire goes to ground or to the chassis. up my soldering iron full blast here. What a terrible job I'm doing here. Holy smokes. better job here. I can see on that camera versus what I see with my eyes. Started pretty good down the back here. Oh, it looks crappy there too. Just, just didn't get the solder to go on to it.
better. <laughs> Still looks pretty crappy, but I think that'll do the trick. green wires it goes to the center terminal but I want to experiment a bit so let's let's plug it in set the volume down power on So no, right now the only thing this radio has for an antenna is this piece of green wire right here. So let's, uh, although this is you know, kind of sloppy, let's just clip lead that wire to where I think it should go. Okay, let's hook up the external antenna and see what happens with that. something there. Now that's going through that capacitor. If I bypass the capacitor, better to go through the capacitor. week.
Oh my my. Well, I think that this radio needs an alignment. There's no question about that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to get on to right away. I just turned the IF slug five turns and the radio picked up after five turns. It was way out. So uh, let's... Uh, I think after an alignment, there'll be a great improvement in this radio. So we'll do that in the next uh, next video, I think.